Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we are again on our series of Microtech Hotspot. In this video, I'll show you how to do custom bandwidth limit on Microtech Hotspot. This approach makes use of the user profile parameters, namely the incoming packet mark and outgoing packet mark. By using this method, we can implement bandwidth management. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's access our Microtech device. I'm already done configuring the basic hotspot configuration. I have made a video regarding this, so please watch it first so you can fully benefit this video content. I will put the link on the description box below. We will now go to IP, then hotspot. Go to user profile, click plus. We will create a new user profile, so we will name this one 5MB custom. Then, in this field, incoming packet mark and outgoing packet mark, mark will put a name. So, incoming packet mark, I'll name this one hotspot-in. Then, outgoing packet mark, I'll name this one hotspot-out. Hotspot spelling. Then, click apply. Then, OK. We will create next a user that will be assigned to that profile. So click users tab, click plus. I'll name this one user one, then password one, two, three, four. And in the profile, choose the five MB custom, apply, and OK. We will now go to IP, firewall mangel, this one. So as you can see here, there's no rules that is added. But if there are hotspot users, rules will be created here automatically. So I will access the JAT hotspot using my phone. I will use the user1 credentials. We will go to active tab. I'll input the password credential of user1. So as you can see, in the active tab, this user is my phone. So as you can see also here in the Mangel, rules are being added automatically. If my phone disconnects to the hotspot, then this rule will be automatically removed. So I'll try to disconnect my phone to the hotspot, then remove it to the active tab. So as you can see, the rules that is added here in the Mangel is being removed also. So I'll access again the Jet Hotspot. All right, I'll input the password. So as you can see here, my phone now is connected. But this is not enough. So we will add another rules here in the Mangel so that the traffic from the hotspot user can be read in the firewall. Uh, we will create a rule in the pre-routing and post-routing chain. So click plus, general, then in in interface, hotspot, bridge hotspot, action, jump, then jump target to the hotspot. Click apply and OK. We will also add another one for the post-routing chain, general, Chain post routing, out interface, bridge hotspot, action jump, then jump target, hotspot, apply, then OK. So we are now done here in the firewall mangel. So we will now proceed to queues. Click queues, then in the queue tree tab, click plus. I'll name this one download. Then I'll give a max limit of 20M. Apply. Then OK. I'll make also for the upload. Max limit 20M. Apply. OK. So we will now make a child queue. So click plus. Then 
We'll name this one 5 MB hotspot down. Parent is download. Pocket mark, choose hotspot out. Then P Q type PCQ download default. Max limit 5 MB, 5 M. Click apply. Then okay. We'll add another child queue for the upload. Click plus. We'll name this one 5 MB. Hotspot. Upload. Parent. Upload. Pocket mark. Hotspot in. Max limit. I'll give. I'll limit this one into 7 Mbps. Q type. PCQ upload. Apply. Then OK. I have made videos regarding bandwidth management. Please watch it for more details of on bandwidth management that I demonstrated here in this video. I will put the link on the description box below. So we are now done doing the bandwidth management. So let's restart our Microtech device. So system, then reboot. Yes. Let's wait for the Microtech device to finish rebooting. All right, we are now connected again to our Microtech device. So I'll access again the Jet Hotspot. All right, so my phone is now connected to the Hotspot. So Let's test now and see if the queues are working. So I'll do speed test here on my phone. I'll double click the user in the active tab and go to the traffic tab. I'll do speed test here in my phone and you will see here in the queues and in the traffic graph that the bandwidth has been limited to 5 MB download and 7 MB upload. So I'm now testing. So as you can see here in the graph, 5 MB download. Here also in the queues, 5 MB download. Seven MB upload in the traffic graph, then in the upload queues, seven MB. So our bandwidth limit is taking effect. So since this is PCQ, if there are many users in that spot using the 5 MB custom profile, then they will equally share the 5 Mbps bandwidth. So to test that, we'll add another user. We'll name this one user2, then password on 234, profile, 5 MB custom, click apply, then OK. We'll access this user. I will access the hotspot using the, the user2 user. So I'll use this laptop, I'll disable first the LAN, then connect the laptop to the JAT hotspot Wi-Fi. When I connect, it's connecting. Right, so we'll input the password. We will be redirected to the hotspot login page. So I'll disconnect first, then reconnect again. All right, so we are now re being redirected to the hotspot login page. So I'll input the user to credentials, connect. All right, so as what you can see here in the active tab, it's 
So as you can see here in the active tab, there are two users. User one is my phone, user two is my laptop. So when we go to Qtrace and the active tab, we will also check here in the firewall mangle. You will see here that there are two users that is connected and IP firewall mangle has added another rules. So this one is my user two and this one is my user one. So we'll now do speed test to confirm that the PCQ is taking effect. So I'll double click this one, then click the traffic tab and we will do speed test. So this is for user one and this is user two. I'll do speed test here in the laptop. I'll also do speed test here in my phone. So let's start. So for the download, they will share the 5 MB download. So my my phone is 2.3 download. The laptop is 2.7 download. So because the max limit for the download is only 5 MB. And for the upload, my phone is 3.3 MB. The laptop is 4.2 MB. Since the upload max limit is 7 MB. Therefore, you can see here that the speed is shared equally between user 1 and user 2. So this is it guys on how to configure Microtech Hotspot with custom bandwidth limit and management. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now and have a nice day.